I'm going to tell a story, one that many of you may relate to. I was a young man sitting in class as the world bustled around me, new ideas and concepts bombarding my mind for attention. As I struggled to sit still, look forward, and watch the teacher as they recited verbatim what I needed to know to pass a test. Not what I needed to know to feel, to navigate the rest of my life, not what I needed to know to get my first job or pay my first taxes, not what I needed to know to feel sated intellectually, but instead what I needed to know to answer questions written by people that I would never know nor meet, who think about and view the world in a way much different than I do. I was a race car, ready to rev through the winding, twisting corners of exploration. But instead, I was expected to cautiously merge onto the freeway of standardized tests and prescribed learning outcomes. Those around me seemed to thrive and grow as I puttered along, simply waiting to get to recess or lunch. Off my exit, onto that winding country road, I could finally stretch out my legs and learn. Hydrodynamics through creating dams and channels to control the winter runoff. Physics and simple machines through moving large boulders around our schoolyard. Structural engineering through improvising forts from materials that we had forged from around the schoolyard. And even into politics and trade as I interacted with the students around me. Ring back to the monotony. Back to the reading and reciting, the listening and writing, the tedium of class. It was not all bad though. Some teachers truly went above and beyond to engage me. Through projects and mentorship, I did flourish, but it was a struggle to move through a system in which I did not feel at home. I did my true learning on my own, well, with a merry band of peers who thought more like me, who behaved more like me. We were forever building, modifying, taking apart, and even occasionally, getting things back together again. Backed with the mentorship of truly amazing adults, they enabled us to learn and discover. They were our true teachers. Some of them were my actual teachers, but many more were my peers, my family, and others who just took the time to aid me in my journey through life. It is understandable where this controlling learning environment comes from. With so many students, limited time and resources, it is very difficult to cater to all the different students and their needs. A clear trackable system is a very logical tool in educating young people, especially large amounts of them. However, it is much more important to foster discovery over learning, as it leads to a true understanding over the superficial knowledge of simply being taught. There's a quote often attributed to Feynman or Einstein, and it takes many forms, but it follows. If you cannot explain something simply, you do not understand it well enough. This understanding comes not from having something explained to you, but by exploring it and discovering it for yourself. Experimentation is the true key to discovery. I've been given many different titles throughout my journey. First, I was a do-it-yourselfer. Later, I was a hacker, and then a, a maker. All simple titles for a hands-on learner and explorer. Instead of the far-flung reaches of our planet, the depths of our sea, or the abyss of space, I explored the skills and ideas of the world around me. We have many compatriots in this journey of knowledge, and now it's often referred to as the maker movement. It was a culture of discovery that came from the often misunderstood hacker culture of the 80s and 90s, where home scientists and tinkerers pushed the bounds and limits of technology. They created the advancements that we all enjoy today. Hacking is about taking something apart and making it do something it was not originally intended to do. It is the epitome of innovation. The use of the word in a negative context has borne the maker. A maker is not somebody who simply makes something, 
but somebody who furthers their knowledge through exploration. The word is a misnomer as it embodies more than the physical, but also the ideas and concepts around us. I had the opportunity to be part of founding a makerspace in Kamloops. Makerspaces draw a lot of their early development from the hacker spaces in Germany, such as the Chaos Computer Club. The modern makerspace, however, can take many different forms. I usually define Kamloops Makerspace as a non-profit community workshop where users have access to tools and resources and a community of amazing, creative people. But more importantly, when I give a tour to somebody who'd never been there before, I ask them to tell me what the Makerspace is. The answers that I have gotten are as diverse as the people who've gone through, from an artist collective to a prototyping workshop, to a cool place to simply meet and hang out with new people. It is a creative, inclusive space that draws people of all ages, backgrounds, and viewpoints. Everyone defines their own journey at a makerspace, and they share it with those around them. The excitement is infectious, and the opportunities are endless. Members and the public alike are enabled and empowered to make and explore. Cross-pollination between art and technology has led to many amazing creations. Parents like my own no longer suffer the wrath of a young explorer with a screwdriver, but get to watch their child explore as they tear into one of the many objects we have for them to take apart and truly discover. As my mother said, the first time she stepped foot into the makerspace. If this existed when you were a child, it would have saved so many household appliances. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. I recently laser cut a variety of shapes for a children's arts festival. Upon cutting out a large number of gears, I found that it made a cool diamond shape. I threw that in with the rest and immediately forgot about them. Later that day, when I was helping other kids, I noticed a young girl, and she was picking out all of the diamonds and gears. And as I went on, I noticed her start to put my piece of plywood back together. Spatial recognition is a fairly uncommon skill and an extremely important one. It is often an indicator of high IQ. But upon talking to the girl's mother and explaining how important what I just witnessed was, I was dismayed to hear that she had been seen as struggling in school. With ADHD, she was being pushed into special classes and to take medication. I watched this important tools and they can help. However, I just watched this young person, young person quietly concentrate and solve a problem, something that she'd been seen as unable to achieve in her own school. So what was the difference? Here there was a child who was able to find their own challenge, and then they could rise to achieve it. When parents and caregivers bring their child into a makerspace, I often see them steering the child to the different things that they would like to see them do. However, instead, I encourage them to allow the child to truly explore and walk around. The joy of seeing the light bulb turn on as they discover the thing that draws their interest most is incredible. Working with a mentor, they're then able to delve into their newfound passion. Comments like, my child never concentrates like that are a true reward. Kids are natural explorers. From fighting dragons on the playground to taking apart a VCR, they are gaining the knowledge that will serve them into their future as they become our new leaders, our new entrepreneurs. It is the creative people who push the envelope of human ingenuity, who solve the problems that we face and bring joy to those around them. The scientist, mathematician, poet, and artist all have creativity in common. It is without the passion to create, we do not achieve. A flight instructor I had once told me that you start life with two bags, 
a full bag of luck and an empty bag of experience, and that the key to life is to fill our bag of experience before we empty our bag of luck. The bag of experience is filled as we explore the world around us, as we discover new things. I want to encourage each and every one of you to spend a little bit of your bag of luck through learning and exploring. You can learn, grow, and thrive. We are all empowered to change the world around us. Thank you.